What's up everybody? It is your girl Nelly TV and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to every single subscriber that keeps coming back and watching my videos. And if you're new, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because your girl is producing videos more than ever. Today is a very special one and it's a highly requested video for some of my Instagram followers on an Arnie's Kali tutorial. Filipino martial arts, we are doing it. Representing for my cabayans, let's do it. Uh, but anyway, you're probably seeing this in pretty much every movie every television show they use Filipino martial arts in just about everything so today I'm gonna break down some basics and specifically a drill called Sinomali. Sinomali. I was um someone one of my friends just showed me a show called Hannah and in Hannah I was watching it and I'm kind of iffy on action videos but I saw them doing Arnie's and I was like I've got to do this tutorial so here we go make sure you stay tuned to the end and if you like it share it with somebody else and let's go Hey, what's up team? So also, I just want to give you this disclaimer as well. If you have never trained with any weapons or martial arts, first of all, be safe. I'm only teaching you what I have learned and practiced for my entire life and with all my certifications that I have. And this is my style of training, so I'm going to give you my perspective on it and how I teach. And then second of all, be careful, be safe. Don't do live six if you're not ready. Get foam, get whatever it is and practice this way. Your martial arts should be used to learn technique and if you ever have to use it in defense never in an offense to just attack somebody so i just want to give you that disclaimer as well make sure you do your proper warm-ups twirling here that way you don't have any injuries but be extra extra careful because it is very easy to hit yourself all right all righty let's go ahead and get started so like i said i'm going to give you like a little brief history on it because i am half filipino and super proud half filipino half american my dad is from the philippines so if you see my other videos you've heard me talk about it but Arnis or Kali, is, it has different names, you know, Kali Arnis is Krima, but this is the art and the sport of the Philippines. This is what we use back to defeat Magellan, the conquistadors who came to the Philippines, okay? So it's a it's a beautiful art that we have. Um, a lot of times you'll see it disguised as well in what we call tinikling. If you ever see some tinikling, you'll see girls with sticks and doing all this. I can do a whole video on that, but that is kind of like what we did to hide our art from the Spanish when they conquered us. Anyway, I can drop some more gems on that, but this is not that video. All right, so with your Arnie sticks, these are made out of rattan, one of the strongest woods out in the Philippines. There's different styles. There's thicker ones, there's lighter ones. I did a little bit of a weapons video last time, um, but I'm using these lighter versions, which are used for quick striking and stuff like that. I'm gonna try not to hit my ceiling fan. I have a ceiling fan right above me. I'm filming in a different area today. Um, but let's just go over some basics. So I'm gonna put one stick down, uh, just to show you real fast. But pretty much, with your stick, it depends on you where you want to grip it. I would not grip it all the way up to the top. Um, the only time I do that is like when I'm practicing drills that are similar to what you would do with nunchucks, because you know, again, like I said, with Filipino martial arts, we master about 90% of weapons. When we say Filipino martial arts, that does not mean you have to have this when you walk around. This can be your umbrella. This can be a cane. This can be. A fan. It can be anything. Give me your keys. What we teach you in this is the angles, the angles of attack. It is all about angles. So you'll see in different systems where they have different angles that they go. No one, no system has the correct one, but there's just angles. We're all about, we're all about angles, baby. And I'm not talking about the face angles for photos. I'm talking about angles for striking. Okay. So you want to have about maybe I do four finger grip. That means I put four fingers here. And then I place my hand on top. I do about a four finger grip, maybe sometimes a little bit higher because I have small hands, okay? Um, one thing to remember, or lots of things to remember, wherever you see your knuckles. So you see these small knuckles right here, small knuckles. This is what we consider the blade of a stick, okay? I talked about this in my last lesson video. I'm looking for a weapon. <laughs> we consider this the blade because if I had a sword, same way, you see where my small knuckles are? That's the blade in which I choose to cut. Okay, that's what I'm cutting with, is the blade of the weapon. So the same thing with my RD stick, always think about this as your blade. Let me sit this down. All right, okay, so we're always gonna think about that as your blade. The other thing is, we're always checking and being protective of our hands. Something that we learn is that the hand, think about this, the hand is like the fangs of a snake. A snake, to a lot of people seems to be like, oh my gosh, it's scary, I can get bit, it has venom. But it, let's say you took those fangs away from a snake. Now, I, I'm no animal expert. I don't know anything about snakes, really. But if you took those fangs away from that snake, it, it becomes harmless. It's not as scary, unless it's like an anaconda or something. It becomes harmless, okay? So the same thing with this. If I have someone else who is attacking me with a weapon, 
I want to destroy the fangs of that snake <laughs> because if they've got that, they can no longer hold that weapon. They can no longer do it. So that's the concept I want you to think about, okay? So just going over a few basics right now. Again, I've got my four finger grip. Always remember this is the, the blade part of the weapon. So this is mainly what I want to strike with, okay? There are different times that when you're striking, that occasionally I may hit with what we call a puño or a thrust. This is going to be a thrusting. Um, and then occasionally to the side of the weapon for a move what we call abanico. Abanico is like a fanning motion. So we do hit with different parts of the stick. Um, even in Arnis and the Doce Pare system, we will strike like this with the center of the stick. Uh, but just always think about going with your blade, first of all. So if this bag is a lovely bag for a person, right now, for Sinwali, we're gonna work on a high level. So we can hit high, we can hit mid-range, we can hit low, but we're gonna work on hitting at a high level. So think about hitting towards the temple or eye line of people. Uh, in a Kali system, we would call this the number one and the number two. I'm gonna hit at number one, which is the temple area, and number two, the temple area on the other side. So just imagine that all my strikes are going there. So that's the first thing I would probably say that you wanna practice, is learning where these angles of attack are. I will do a video later on to show you the full set uh, that I grew up learning and some other ones as well, but this first one is just gonna be eye level here. So again, I'm striking out to the number one, so this would be the left temple, strike number two, okay? If you notice as well, a really big mistake I see people doing is that when they strike, they just leave their arms out like this. What is this? What is this? this is not correct, don't do that, okay? So you always want to strike and either pull back the, the weapon, strike and pull back, or strike all the way through on that weapon. Strike and pull back, or strike all the way through, okay? But for the purposes of learning Sinwali, we want to strike all the way through that weapon. So if I'm facing you and I'm gonna strike, I'm striking all the way through, all the way through. This is my forehand motion. This, oh, I'm getting the back and back because I have a small space. This is my backhand motion. Again, forehand, backhand, just like you have in tennis. Forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand. Get used to doing that. So I would do that alone just with one hand, okay? But Sinwali is done with two sticks, so we need to have a stick in each hand. So think about that same concept. Four finger grip, fangs of a snake, okay? So before you get into Sinwali itself, you should work on forehand and backhand at each side. So this is my right arm. I'm going forehand, backhand. I do my left arm. Forehand, backhand. If you wanna see, I think I can kinda of do a back view for you. Does that work? I don't know. I think that doesn't work. So we're gonna go back to this. Forehand, backhand. I'm just hitting everything in here today. But look, I told you guys, these videos will get better over time, but I have limited space. So work on forehand. So, a tip for this, now when you're doing your forehand backhand, I always like to show people this, I like to show you what not to do, okay? I'm gonna show you what not to do. When you're doing this, this is what you should not see or what I don't wanna see in my students or clients. Okay, do you notice the difference? Look at my hands, my hands are just staying out all willy-nilly just going here. I see people going fast and they're like, yeah. But it's not correct, why? Because we are not, chambering chamber your weapon always bring your weapon back so i don't want to have my stick out here just like this i need to chamber it towards my body so anytime you hear us say chamber chamber that weapon back so a good practice is just to think think about resting your sticks here now, i don't want them to rest here but you want to think about that so they stay nice and close to the body here so i don't want to rest completely but chamber that weapon back that's a good practice for you to start off with so again i go Forehand, I chamber, backhand, chamber. Forehand, chamber, backhand, chamber. Forehand, backhand, keep those hands up, okay? What you cannot see as well is my footwork. And maybe I'll do an insert video of my footwork after this, but I'm pivoting that body. I'm pivoting my body as well as changing my stance. So I don't wanna just be doing this and I stay very like stiff. We're not stiff. Angles. I gotta be able to move, okay? So if I'm facing forward in front of you, forehand, chamber, backhand, chamber. Notice how my body is turning on each single strike, okay? So again, I'm not doing this. Nothing is turning. I'm pretty stiff. Even my face is stiff, okay? But right now, chamber, 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 
chamber. So I'm pivoting at that waist, changing that angle, and then I'll show an insert of what my feet are doing as well because we have a little bit of foot movement. Okay, so don't mind all of my equipment and my surroundings. I wanna show you the footwork here, okay? So the first thing that I wanna show you is putting your sticks down on the ground. We have a couple of different footwork motions. I hope you guys can see this. Move that back. Okay, so from here, we're gonna do what we call a twisting stance. Imagine that your feet are the length of your sticks, okay? From here, all I'm gonna do is pivot, put the weight onto one foot, and come onto the ball of the foot of the other, okay? It's almost like a cat stance. I twist. I'm doing a twisting motion, moving those hips, moving the feet. This is a very good practice to do before you actually start with your sticks. Okay? Then we also have step and twist. Step, twist, step, twist, step, twist, step, twist. Okay? Other movements we do, uh, let me see if I can show you from this angle. I'm gonna put my sticks down in a triangle, a pointy triangle out for me. I come to the top of my sticks. And I'm gonna do what we call male triangle. I step back. Okay, I'm on the ball of my foot. Come to the front. Step back. Front. This is the male triangle that we work on doing, okay? It's almost like doing a semi lunge, okay? Then the other footwork we do, now we're gonna turn that into a V. A V right in front of me. So from here, I stand at the top and I do that cat stance like motion. Let me see if I can move it back. I do that cat stance like motion. V. That's the female triangle. So that is all the footwork that sometimes I'm doing when I'm twirling my sticks. Okay, hope you're following along so far. Chamber, chamber. So now we're gonna work on this for the actual cinnamoli and how it works. So we have what we call like an open stance here where both hands are open. But now we're gonna do a closed chamber. Like an open chamber, now we're gonna do a closed chamber where one hand is up. We're supposed to be the other one closes, so one arm is closed across the body. Closed chamber. This is my right arm, and this is my left arm. And that's okay, because you know what? In this drill itself, we're gonna do both sides. We're gonna do both sides of everything, okay? So there's, I don't like to call them, but six moves, six moves. We'll break it down to six parts, okay? From here, I have my closed chamber. My right arm does the forehand strike, okay? So out, that is my number one. If you notice again, where am I hitting? The temple, the number one, okay? This one is still here. I'm gonna chamber my right, and I strike with the backhand of my left. Okay, that's two. So you gotta, you gotta close that chamber, strike with the other hand. Now I'm gonna bring this hand open, three. If you notice, this is an open position. I'll show you from the front way after this, three. From here, I chamber this weapon back down low. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. This is four. Where am I hitting? The temple. Chamber, five, okay? Open position, six. In this video, you're gonna notice I say different things because everyone learns differently. So sometimes I'll, I'll speak it by a name that's supposed to be called, sometimes I give it numbers. Whatever it is for you to be able to learn and pick up, that's what you do. Six moves, that's in Wally. We're gonna do it again. So I go from my starting position, close chamber, one. Chamber, backhand is two. Open, three. Close here, strike forehand, four. Five, six, again, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Or you can say, forehand, backhand, backhand. Forehand. I'll also tell you for this. Okay, you can hit the head. Put this on your neck. Open. Head. Neck. Open. Head. Neck. Open. Head. Neck. Open. Whatever way you need to say it for you to remember, do that, okay? So again, it's a continuous motion, but I'll start it from the top. I'll show you this way. This is my closed position. This is my one, okay? Put it on your neck. Backhand two. Three, it's an open position. Both hands are open out to the side, but notice my angle. Close it back up. So now I do the exact same pattern on the other side. One, put it on your neck. 
backhand two, open three, or that'll be six. <laughs> Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. I start from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then once you get that pattern, it starts to flow. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing, let's go on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to go too fast or too hard to hit something, okay? Six moves. Sinwali, that's what it is, Sinwali, okay? So, again, this is all high. That's all high. Well, then we can also go mid, high and mid. One, low. High. We have inverse. We can also go low the entire time. Okay, so this can be done at different levels, but the pattern is the same. Six moves, okay? Call it whatever you need to call it to make it work, but know that this is Sinwali from Filipino Martial Arts. I hope you guys got that. Rewatch the video if you need to. And that's it. So when next time you see a movie, <laughs> it's like people when you see people, blah, blah, blah. And outside perspective, when you don't know it, it's like, oh my gosh, they're so amazing, which they are. Now you know how to do it too. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Let me know what you want to see next. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with somebody else. Let me know what other videos you want to see. I am producing videos like this now. Like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. I also have, let me tell you this, I also have my martial arts academy that I'm starting so you guys can get access to four live workouts every month, two Q&A sessions, and then we also have other packages for you to do one-on-one -on -one sessions with me as well. That information is all on my website, nalitav.com forward slash squad, and I have a lot more. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.